Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another edition of Dance at Home with Time to Sway. We hope you're all doing well. So this week we have a beginner's six count lesson. So yes. maybe you've never danced swing before. You have a roommate, a family member, somebody that you're quarantined with. Uh, and they're like, what are you doing in your spare time? <laughs> what is this swing dance? Uh, this is a great uh, beginner's lesson. We're going to go over basic six count in closed and open, outside turn, and hammerlock. And then look out for intermediate version, advanced version, part two of this. The exact same move we'll be doing. It's just intermediate. We're going to have different variations. Mm -hmm. We'll do a double turn and some other fun stuff. So look for that video. Once you've mastered this one, you can go ahead and look at the other. Okay, so we're going to start with your basic triple steps or six count swing. So six count is comprised of two triples and a rock step. We're going to go over our rock steps first, just our rock steps. So if you are a follow, you are going to be on your right foot. And if you're a lead, we'll be starting on the left foot. Mm -hmm. So your rock steps literally is you're going to take a step back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. And as you can see, we're changing our weight, not leaving our body. I mean, my foot's going back, my body's staying forward. We don't want that. We want to move our body with your feet. One, two, one, two, one, two. Nice bent knees, nice and easy, and relaxed. Yeah, well, you definitely want to relax the arms. You don't want to keep them at your side and stiff. Just relax, let them move with the flow of your body. Good, we're going to show that from behind. So this is my right leg. We'll angle ourselves a little bit. And this is my left. So we go uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Another exercise that you can do is you can return the foot, so you're here together, and you can go rock, step, together, rock, step, together, rock, step, together, and a rock, step, together. So you can practice, those are two exercises that you can do uh, for your rock steps. Okay. So now we have our triple steps. So if you are a follow, you're going to be on the right leg again. Same with the lead, we'll be on the left. So we're going to, triple steps looks like this. Five, six, seven, and one, and two, 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 triple step, triple step, triple step, and triple step. If you can hear that triple step is syncopated, which just means that first step is not, it's not continuous, it's not triple step, triple step, it's triple step. Yeah, so there's an and count in there, so one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. What really helps is being on the balls of your feet or your toes. It's a little bit harder if you hang back on your heels, um, or if you, if you use your whole foot, it's not harder. But just know that when you get into faster music, you will want to try and be on the balls of your feet and your toes. So I would recommend, or we recommend, just trying it out first with the balls of your feet and your toes. A one and two, one and two, one and two. So we'll show it from behind. Uh, five, six, seven, and one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, and triple step. Good. So everything underneath your hips and your shoulders, you don't want to take really large triple steps outside of your bounds. It's a lot uh, harder to come back in and recover from that. It takes so, more energy away from your dancing as well. Mm, so we want to make sure that we're nice and centered underneath ourselves. Nice easy steps, triple step. So you can practice these triples side to side, kind of like what we're doing right now. You can also practice these triples forward and back. So if we do a few forward, starting on the right foot, and you just alternate your feet. So you'd go one and two, 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 one and two. Then you can try them backwards. Oops, sorry, five, six, seven, a one and two, 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 one and two. So try them in all directions. One and two, one and two, side, forwards. Start forwards, rotating. Forwards, backwards, backwards, forwards, wherever that you're at. 
that's a great exercise to practice by yourself is just your triples um, to get the feeling and comfort comfort of of them because sometimes yeah. they can be a little tricky or um, hard to understand at first so do that have your own mantra or count in your head whether it's going to be one and two one and two or triple step triple step you get comfortable with that play a pretty slow song we'll mention the songs that we're going to have playing so that you guys can practice with that song if you want or something slower and then try to find the beat and practice to that song so that you can have something in your head that you don't have to think about counting you're just focusing on the song itself yeah another thing too to try um, maybe you're finding a hard time with uh, the beat or you know everything is really new uh, you can just step in place and pulse so your pulse one and two 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 one so you keep that bounce up bum, bum, a pulse a pulse if you play music and you just try your bouncing and your pulsing and you're like ooh, i feel the music a little bit more i can hear it just a little bit more then you start picking up your feet one and two one and two one and two keeping that bounce and that pulse in there boom boom one and two one and two and uh, single steps is what we're doing, right? Single steps are used also all the time in um, Lindy Hop and Swing. So yeah. it's just called single time swing. It would just be one and two, one and two, and rock step. So you you utilize both ends. So by using like this as an exercise, not only is it like an exercise, but those are moves that you can do and will probably end up doing later on. That's right. Yeah. And when you get more intermediate to advanced, you can mix and match your triples with your singles as well. Mm. So just some food for thought, things to think about as you go through um, as you're beginning, okay? Um, might be a lot of information at first. You don't have to think about all those other aspects about mixing your triples and that sort of thing. Uh, those are just things that we like to introduce to new students just to let them know like where it kind of goes and where you would see it uh, later on in your dancing. So don't forget about it. <laughs> So your whole basic is going to be two triples and a rock step. Yeah, and it looks a little something like this. A five, six, seven, one and two, one and two, rock step. One and two and rock step, triple, triple. One more time, triple step, triple step and rock step. Then we're going to go from behind here. Five, six, seven and triple, triple and rock, triple, triple, and rock, triple, triple, last time, one and two, one and two, rock, step, good, so our triples, or that basic can move side to side, and can move forward and back, so forward and back, meaning we're going to start in what we call close position, so close position is, leads have the right hand on the follows back, mid back, uh, follows make sure that you make connection or contact with that hand that's on the back and then you are going palm to palm it can be like you're holding a cup leads and ladies place their hands on in or it can be palm to palm and fingertips uh, on the outsides generally um, we're going with the cup hand hold so we're here Boop. okay so this is your close position so that same basic that we did side to side is now going to move forward and back looks like this five Six, seven, triple, triple, and rock. Triple, triple, and rock. Triple, triple, and a rock. Last time, triple, triple, and a rock. Good, from the back. <clears throat> Five, six, seven, triple, triple, and rock. Triple, triple, and rock. One, and two, three, and four. Five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. So your rock step is two counts, no syncopation, five, six. So that's your six count swing mm -hmm. basic. So one and two, three and four, five, six. Your two triples and your rock step. Yeah. All right. So you have your, that was your basic enclosed. So again, your basic enclosed here. We're going to go with an outside turn. So it looks a little something like this. One and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. All right. 
So, Leeds. It's very simple. <laughs> Leeds, you are going to raise the hand or signal to your partner that we are going to be making our way out. So after you take that rock step, high five on that first triple or center out, you raise the hand. Leeds. You start having this little gate here. It's going to be close, uh, close to her head, but you don't want to get it too high. If you go too high, she thinks we're going to go right now. So keeping it here gets her ready and prepped, and then on that second triple is when we're going to let her go. Right, so follows, we see here that we're prepped, and then on that second triple, we're going to be let out. So leads, make sure you're not pushing your partner out. You want to guide or release the hand, and you're going to be making connection with this hand here. So once you rock step, triple step, triple out she goes. So remember again, that backhand is not going to push, it's going to release, and you're going to help this, with this hand by creating like a little halo and releasing the hand or the gate up above, okay? So one more time. One thing that's good for practice, don't do the footwork first, just get the mechanics down with the arms and the body movement. So that would be for us, that would be going back a little bit on that one, two, coming in front, having this ready, and then guiding her away from you, and then bringing the arm down. That would be the full motion and mechanics of arms and the body movement. When you get comfortable with that, then you add the footwork. So uh, with our students, usually we'll do hands or mo like body movement first versus feet, like all together with feet. So you know, if we have, let's take the hammer lock, which we're also going to be doing in this um, lesson. The hammer lock, we start here, and then we just rotate, rotate, rotate until we get to this position. So that's with no footwork. So usually with every move, we try to go through it without footwork first, just to make sure our placement is correct, and then we add in our footwork, right? So uh, what Adolfo was saying here was that, leads you just raise that left hand, and you're going to help guide her out. Remember, don't push her. You're releasing that hand, and you're helping create that half, like, halo, and then, shoop, the hand goes down. So you think about it as like a half rainbow. So if we face this way, you're here. Once you release that hand over her head, it's done. It's over. So you close, close it off. Okay. So with footwork, you have one basic triple step, triple step, rock step, high five. Out she goes and rock step. And you rock step away from each other. All right from the back. Five, six, seven, triple, triple, rock, step, high five, out she goes, and rock, step. Good. So practice that a few times. Uh, it shouldn't be um, it shouldn't be a huge push out or like um, a far away uh, movement. So what that means is like when you guys release here, I don't want to go way far away from my partner. I still want to make sure that I'm at a comfortable distance while keeping my elbow bent. So I should always strive for keeping a, a bend in the elbow for both lead and follow. Uh, this helps protect your joints um, and also just makes for nice lines within the dance. Yeah. Okay, so one more time we're going to show that and then we're going to move on to bringing your partner back. Five, six, seven, triple, triple, rock, triple, triple and a rock step. Good. Okay, from here, what are we going to do? We're just going to offer uh, leads. You're just going to offer this right hand so that we get into now open position, right? Because okay. we're going to be uh, going into hammer lock after this, right? So open position, all you would do is you're going to take your triple step here, triple step, close the gap, and rock step. Leads, you're just going to offer that right hand. Same way you would with this hand when we were enclosed, our left hand, we're going to hold a cup and she's going to stick her hand on it. Mm -hmm. Or like you're riding a motorcycle follows. <laughs> so once you release your partner, you're out here, you're a little bit further than usual. All you need to do is close the gap. So if we take our rock step, we're just going to make our way towards each other a little bit. Boom, 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 and rock step. Just offer the hand. She'll put her hand on in like she's riding a motorcycle, like she said. What we don't want is after the rock step, give me your hand, give me your hand. You want to reach for it, just because if we're too far, it just, this looks really weird. <laughs> we're well, hunched over. You don't need to be uh, rushing for that. Offer the hand at a comfortable pace. 
So you had your forward and back when you were in closed position. Uh, when you're here in this, what we call like broken position, one, two, triple step, triple step, rock. Now it's more of side to side, what we were practicing at the very beginning, okay, without a partner. So uh, from the back, five, six, we start in closed and triple, outside turn, rock, triple, triple, rock forward, triple, and rock. Yeah, we just close the gap and we end up in our close, or excuse me, open position. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice and easy. Okay, so a few things about going into closed, or excuse me, open. I uh, want to make sure we still have that nice bend in the elbows. We're not too far away, even though we are, you know, holding hands here and we don't want to be too crunched in. So we're at a nice comfortable pace, uh, or, um, space and our hands are about waist level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into now hammerlock. Yes. And these are all beginner moves. So, remember hammerlock, this is without footwork. You know, we're just gonna do body mechanics, like placement, where are we going? So Leeds, you are going to raise this left hand here, another high five. You're gonna take it overhead. At the same time, you're gonna pour out the water with that right hand and turn, 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 so you face. The leads, we're going to turn a little bit over our left, like a small quarter turn, because we don't want to stay straight. It's going to hurt here, your joints, and for her as well, because her arms are on the back. Just make it comfortable. We'll move up a little bit here. So again, you have this left hand for the leads, right hand for the follows. You pour out the water at the same time you let your follow uh, out. So follows, this is going towards my right, just like you did with that outside turn earlier. So you keep rotating leads, you keep this hand here, you keep rotating, rotating, rotating until you get to be shoulder to shoulder and leads like he said, you're going to do like mm, an Less eighth, than a <laughs> yeah, like eighth of a turn. maybe like an eighth of a turn uh, to, to kind of counterbalance your, your body there. So you're uh, helping your partner move. Okay. Uh, one more time, let's go from this angle here, right? So we have outside, boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to walk around, walk around, boom. So uh, follows, this is not myself, I'm not leading myself through this turn. By my partner keeping this hand steady, this left hand here, and helping me rotate, so his palm is down and my palm is up, fingertips connected, rotate, rotate, boom. You never want to uh, clasp or clamp down on turns, follows. Don't try to grab onto your partner's hand as you do the turn. You might end up twisting your shoulder, twisting your partner's wrist. So whenever uh, there are turns happening, even like this outside turn here, uh, this basic outside turn that we did, leads, palm is down, follows is up, and my fingertips are connected to make my turn, and I rock step. That goes for any dance that you'll be doing, or if you want to learn first the different dance, palm is down for any type of dance we're doing. Uh, yes. Uh, you, it, you get that resistance. So if you've seen those um, videos, maybe like where they do a million turns, it looks like a million turns. Oh, maybe salsa. Um, yeah, salsa does this quite often uh, where, you know, leads are standing and their follow is going. Poof, poof, poof. So uh, their palm is down and they're connected with fingertips. They allow for the room to breathe, but at the same time there's that pressure. That's why we get that rotation and, sh and your partner's pushing up, your follow's pushing up. Okay, so you get that resistance. So uh, we don't need that much resistance right now with what we're doing, but it's still the same concept as palm down, connected fingertips, boom, boom. You might end up in a funky handhold sometimes. Don't be afraid. You didn't do anything wrong. All you're going to do is fix it. So it leads just like you're holding a cup, and you place your hand back on it. Done all the time. So It should feel natural <laughs> just to fix your hand. Yeah, and don't, don't worry about when to do it, how to do it. If we're doing, if we're here, we just finished our hands like this, just do a basic rock, step, triple step, just slowly fix it. Don't worry about exactly when to do it, just slowly fix it before you do the next move. All right, these are questions that we get asked uh, quite often with uh, beginners. My hand, I did something weird. No, you didn't do anything <laughs> weird. Well, how do I fix it? Just go ahead and release and, and uh, go back into your normal position. No big deal. Okay, so. Our hammerlock, let's go back to hammerlock. So we did our placement, now we're gonna go with feet. Like she said, don't grip. Leads don't do the same thing because well, our hand is here, 
we're pouring the water, don't hold on to this hand. Don't death grip squeeze. this hand or squeeze because yeah. her hand only rotates this much. So it won't help. If I keep it loose and open, as you can see, the rotation makes it nice and easy. It's just fingertips to fingertips. Generally, my palm will be facing out. His palm will be facing in for hammerlock. Okay. So we have our basic in open position. We have one and two, one and two, rock, step, high five, rotate, and rock, step. Good. So you keep that rotation going. Let's show it again from here. Five, six, seven, oh, one and two, three and four. Five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. So we get a little spring. Boom, boom, after our um, hammer lock. That's right. Finish. Okay, let's just put everything together up until this point, and then we'll complete the lesson with coming back into, um, or getting out of hammerlock. Okay, so, so far we have our basic enclosed. One and two, three and four, five, six, outside turn. There we go. Offer the hand, boom, and triple, and hammerlock, triple, triple, and rock, step. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's show that one from the back. Yeah. Five, six, seven, basic, one and two, rock, step, outside, one and two, rock, step, you offer, a boom, and hammer lock, and up, and out, and rock, step. Good. So hammer lock and outside turn go hand in hand. You notice your hammer lock is just an outside turn, but with leads keeping a hold of both hands, right. and a little bit more rotation. So uh, don't be um, intimidated by it. <laughs> Just keep practicing your outside turn. <clears throat> Once that outside turn is, you know, is feeling comfortable, you'll be like, oh, this is easy. easy. I got it. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Okay, we have our hammerlock. We went into our hammerlock position here. How do we get out of it? There's a couple of ways. The first way we're going to do is just release and bring her right back where we started. So from the rock step, rock step, over the head, face your partner, rock step. Easy. You're just going to reverse what you did to get in. Yeah. So again, we're in hammer lock position. I'm going to go back right where I was after that rock step, over the head, in front of your partner, rock step. Good. Make sure you practice tension. If there's no tension while I'm going through this turn, follows can, you know, kind of go by themselves or the they're not. The hands will slip too. Or hands might slip or leads are not sure where to kind of place follows. So they're like, I'm not really sure where to go. Leads, don't be afraid. Be confident in your leading and follows. Be confident in your dancing. So when you're here after this rock step, there's tension still within these fingertips. Tension back here in this hand. Boom always should feel like a little buzz of connection between your fingertips all the way to your shoulders, right? So you should always be able to kind of feel uh, a good connection. A, um, and actually, a really cool exercise <laughs> that we uh, have done quite often is miming. So you'll be tented. This is a little bit more um, exaggerated, but it gets the point across. So if you're both in towards each other just a little bit tented and you start to mime, so leads, you're going to move. I can feel the connection and I'm able to move with him and follow along nice and easily. Yeah. If I was not connected and he was, uh, I don't feel that. I would delayed reaction, right? And if I was connected but he wasn't, oh, it's, it's the same it's thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> but the, the thing is, if we're both tensed and it's nice, but they're still off of connection. It, it's it's there, but it's a little delayed. Whereas both of us are tented, feel good connection. It's at the exact same time, and we feel what's going on. And another one you can do too is in your two hand hold, is your back a little bit, so you go in and away. You go in and away. So you get that feeling of connection and like release, catch and release. Uh, that is the feeling that we we try to replicate in the dance at all times. Like we want that connection going throughout the dance. Okay. As you can see with that exercise, all we're doing is we're leaning from our bent knees. Bent knees 
and our feet we're just leaning forward and leaning back my hands my elbows shoulders everything is staying still I'm not tight I'm just relaxed and the tension's coming from the fingertips nice, so when nice. we're here I'm holding back and when I start falling forward she feels that and she's and then I'm holding with forward my with my fingertips and her palms so um, great exercise to try. It doesn't have to be super hurt. You know, it's not this big movement. Uh, sometimes we, we're we not sure of like where the movement or like tension is coming from. This is a great uh, like start to kind of feel that where it should be yeah. happening within the dance. Okay, so back to hammerlock, right? So just good little tips to kind of help your uh, dancing out, especially if you're just starting. So uh, we had the hand up top releasing and keeping both hands as we go okay you can also release this uh, top, top hand. hand so it leads left hand uh, once we get to this we'll do our rock step just like how we did what we're doing now is we're going to be pulling on the bottom hand pull down not out never Ooh. pull out it's going to hurt mm -hmm. so if we try this i'm going to release this top hand on that rock step rock step and pull down triple step triple step that's it i'm just pulling slowly down she'll unwind herself because she doesn't you know want to feel a pull or she doesn't want to hurt herself and you don't want to hurt her so just pulling down tells her to unwind and she'll do that rest yeah so uh two ways to get out right now we're showing you releasing this top hand so after that rock step yeah. after that rock step one two triple step triple step you rock step and you're back into your basic triple step okay so uh, from where we started was actually in open and we had a basic to hammer lock outside keeping both hands rock step from here you can do a basic in place rock step you triple triple rock step triple and then you can release whenever you're ready triple triple and rock step okay so you can take your basic in hammer lock I uh, would recommend maybe taking one to start and then go into your exit of choice keeping both hands or releasing the top hands once you get comfortable with that you can do it um, back to back without doing a basic in the middle yes so uh, you know we'll put basics in between everything and it's good practice for your basics uh, but once you are more are comfortable with all that yeah eliminate all the basics and go from move to move to move yeah okay so from the top our whole lesson here we started in closed position with one and two triple step outside turn one and two triple step basic into open hammer lock rock step high five out she goes basic triple triple release triple triple and rock boom all right from the back and this time Adolfo will do uh, the top hand release from here right. five six seven triple triple rock step outside triple rock step basic into hammer lock Good. You have a basic into the release, boom, and rock step. Yay! Okay, guys. Perfect. That was nice. All right, you guys. Uh, this is a great way to get started in your dancing. We hope you really enjoyed it. So we have your basic and closed and open. You have your outside turn and a hammer lock. Mm -hmm. Great things to practice. Good things to get started with. Uh, look for the intermediate advanced version if you'd like to keep moving and progressing with us. All right, we're going to dance it out to some music again, and we'll show you there, um, and we'll see you guys next time. So thank you. Thank you, guys.